Welcome to my thoughts on The Bear, Season 1, Episode 6. This episode is called Series, and there will be spoilers for the first six episodes in this video. And, yeah, another episode I absolutely loved. So, yeah, we get a flashback. Mar Mike is legitimately really, really charming. And I really appreciate the detail that he doesn't quite respect Sugar. You know, it's... He, he does and says a couple of things that clearly bother her. I think he apologizes for, like, one of them. But it's it's very clear. Like, there's a very clear, you know, sadly very realistic sibling dynamic and man-woman dynamic going on there. And, and yeah, it's, it's very, very cool to see, like, this... Other than... Like, th this, uh, um, you know, recently... I have seen John Bernthal in a couple of other things, but I'm, I'm very used. To, you know, yeah. The the other things I've seen John Bernthal in are Fury, The Wolf of Wall Street, and The Punisher. So him being this much more charming, you know, it's very unusual to me, and it's really cool to see him. He just he's completely convincing. You know, there's a lot of actors that I could see play this like really hard ass, badass kind of you know type who would not be able to do charming this well. And, yeah, so we cut from the story being told around the, you know, the kitchen with the siblings, to then, which, you know, flashback before Mikey died, to present day where, you know, Richie is saying, you know, he's explaining it to his date. Oh, who even has a name? Erica. Um, according to IMDb, did they say that? Anyway, um, they might have actually said that in the episode. Anyway, but, but yeah, you know, she's, she's okay. She doesn't need to hear Bill Murray on the, on the answering machine, which is also like, you know, I, I get it. She's, she's got a, a point, but yeah, you can kind of understand where Richie's coming from. You, you really, you don't want to hear Bill Murray's, but, but yeah, what she took away from the story was you went to a bar at 6.45 in the morning, and that is kind of like, dude, you really don't, you're not making your, you know, on a, on a date, you kind of want to put your best foot forward, like, be the, be your, be the best version of yourself, that ain't it, chief, and, let's see, yeah, good detail with, the, you know, that the, the dishwasher, Manny, does not want the, the you know, the, he wants them to take the, the tape off the the things, you know, before they go to the, the dishwasher, which, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Like, it's, it's much easier to rip off before it gets, you know, so, so yeah, it's a, it's a really good point, and let's see, and I guess, is it maybe also that, like, stuff might come off the tape? The, the, the stuff that makes it adhesive might come off and get into the water, and that's probably, yeah, that's, you know, you don't want, you don't want your dishwash water, dishwashing water to have stuff that is, like, sticky in it. That's, like, the opposite of the, the job. And, uh, yeah, Sugar and Carmi, and we get the, the detail that the IRS have not been getting any money off the employees was well, she said like five years and they're gonna seize her house it's like holy crap just yeah <laughs> when 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 something goes wrong for the characters on this show it's not like a tiny little thing it is like fucking world shattering and there's always something going wrong for the characters on this show and let's see yeah, and you know, Richie notes the bar is closed, which is a great time to remove the stick up the ass. And yeah, you know, he points out like you know, things have really changed. There used to be love, respect, clownlessness. And uh what right, and there's gunfire, which is like holy shit. Just and and you know Richie goes out and talks to to uh Shit, what was his name? Crooked John, uh, you know, and yeah, he's like, you know, and and John's like, don't call the cops on me, and and Rich is like, dude, what the? D 
do you not know who I am? And it, it is also like I can't I can't even imagine Richie calling the cops on some you know and and in in that situation you know and then the the um yeah you know sugar suggests maybe you should call the police because there was gunfire and they're like eh, uh, no which you can't understand it from their point of view as well but uh, yeah and yeah the you know some more conflict between Carmi and Sugar. I really appreciate like we understand where Carmi is coming from, but Sugar really is made out like she doesn't come across as just you know for for a long time in American media you'd have like if a woman expresses concern for a man, it's often like, oh yeah, you know, she's just this you know, she she won't you know, why is why is she being like this? Just don't don't do that. You know, when here, like, no, like she has a point. Like these are these are actual problems that need to be dealt with. And uh, you know, yeah, she she points out. Sure, Carmi, keep not processing trauma. And apparently, Richie is listed as Richie Bad News in the phone for his his ex, and you know the the kid picked up on that because pig, kid, kids pick up on stuff whether uh, adults want it or not and yeah you know well that's that does really suck to hear you know you only ever call with bad news let's see and and I do really appreciate you know we we've seen a lot of characters like Richie but seeing a self-reflective one that's actually you know it, again a lot of history of cinema where this just what that yeah the, those characters just did not reflect on you know and it is like you know basically he doesn't he doesn't know how to grow he's struggling with that it's not that he doesn't understand that there are problems there and yeah we see Richie really good with the regulars uh, you know who I guess were played by extras I don't think we see anybody's face in in that sequence but you know he's like so how you know the dog your dog still has the the cone around you know and one one of them like he doesn't even need the order he's just like oh you know you and and he's like you know can we get some th this or that the other thing from from the kitchen you know he knows exactly what uh, yeah and Tina actually compliments Sydney which you know you can tell from Sydney no that that means a lot you know. You know, Sydney doesn't want there to be conflict between them. It's you know, so so yeah. And holy crap, the the I, I already forgot. I think they said risotto or something. Looks unbelievable. Like, do you did you see how like she she can she just like she just it it separates wonderfully. It just cut cut through it with like a, a spoon. I just ah oh, looks looks amazing. I'm really glad I'm having lunch like immediately after recording this video. Or it, like th th this is a show. Don't watch it if you can't have something to eat like almost immediately after because it will make you hungry. And yeah, you know, um, she, you know, she's glad that Carmi said it was tremendous. And when he says no, I said it was great. No, no, no you said tremendous. You know. And yeah, he insists it's not ready yet. And so she gives it to a customer. And let's see, I, I like the detail that also later it's like, oh, you know, I gave leftovers to, to de escalate the, the, you know, she didn't tell them this is just leftovers, but, you know, it's like, because like leftovers. You know that's that, that means that her not charging for it is not going to cost them a ton of money, but it's also like you know she's not like just giving them nothing you know so and uh, you know sugar sugar points out to Carmi, you don't ask me how I'm doing. Yesterday my dog died, and you know Carmi explains and yeah he's he is making a lot of sense and you know they they are able to improve things and they actually found the file called shit you know because because that's Mikey in a nutshell just 
Like, dude, just like, holy shit. But, but yeah. Um, and yeah, there's a big conflict right outside the restaurant. And I, I like, you know, Sydney. So I'm Sydney. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go try to resolve this. Chicago, am I right? <laughs> because it's like, you know, please don't leave our establishment. We would very much like to not lose customers over over this, you know, and Richie can't find his gun, which, you know, we, we know from past episodes, that's how he usually resolves these matters. I do still really love when he, you know, listen up, you QAnon, 4chan Snyder Cut motherfuckers. Now that would be a great, uh, you know, message if, if you're not able to pick up the phone. And, yeah, S Sydney, you know, actually manages to talk them down. And, and you know, Rich did get his gun, but, yeah, it it was no longer necessary. I, I really appreciate, you know, and, and Sydney's like, okay, so I'm Sydney, and you are, you know, okay, so you already know that, you know, everyone's in some various state of knowing one another. How do we resolve this? And I really appreciate, you know, Mr. Carl you know, being the bigger man and and like calmly resolve I'm I'm just fucking with you. He he's like, this guy's a bitch, which is like, wow. You know, and, and I really like uh, I've known a lot of people who were like you know, a lot of a lot of guys who were like, you know, just like, dude, she's trying. She's fucking trying to resolve this. Don't don't do the you know and, and immediately Crooked John's like that's the last time you say this. Say that to me. But but yeah, you know she she does a really great job. She she really is like there's there's a lot that she does really really well. Right. I also um I didn't write any notes for it, but I really appreciate it when you know Carmi explains you know to Sydney. I called you know I talked to the people that you work with, and she's like, why did you do that? And he's like, because you have a really high, you know, you, you have great credentials, this place doesn't, you know, like, he's like, I know why I'm working here, despite the fact that I'm highly educated, but why are you here, and he has, you know, and, you know, she thinks that he's saying, it's your fault that your place didn't work out, and, you know, and, and, you know, I really appreciate that she does tell, you know, she says, this is what it's sounding like, you're saying to me and he explains no, no no I'm just saying I understand that you know you know, you're you're green you're impatient you know it's it's so so yeah he does it is necessary for for him to be you know he's not trying to be unreasonable is the thing and you know it looked from from Richie's face it looked like he might actually start appreciating Sydney more because of the talking down, but there's, you know, he's, like, right after, you have this thing of, uh, you know, I, I guess it's possible there was a, a time jump there, but, you know, the next thing we see is he's, like, he's doing, he's being Richie, and staying there, going over this anecdote that is completely, you know, like, if you're telling an anecdote in that situation, it should be because there's something important you're trying to convey, you know, but no, he's just talking, you know, and yeah, causes a conflict and yeah, Richie and Tina talk and Tina explains, you know, things have, you know, things have gotten a lot better recently, you know, go home, cool off, and, and you know, Richie is, is like, well, maybe I should quit, and it's just like, Jesus fucking Christ, Richie, and also, you know, as he leaves the kitchen, he's, like, hitting stuff, it's just, like, and and he thinks that Carmi is acting like a five-year-old. I, I realized, um, I don't think I did a good job talking about, there was, um, in the other episode, I'm gonna see if I can get the exact, let's see, there was the thing with, with chest, oh, I guess that's not how to do it, let's see if I can... There's one other way to try. So Chester, let's see. Uh, right, right. The episode "Dogs," episode four, uh, he appeared in, and 
yeah, you know, there's the, the thing where he and Sydney meet, you know, and when they meet, you know, Chester is, is kind of, you know, physically affectionate. He like, he's like giving Sydney a hug and it's, it's clear that Sydney doesn't really like it. And, you know, yeah, I, I don't think I, I did a good job of, I, I guess I might not even have really completely grokked it at the, at the time, but basically the, the, it's a cultural difference, you know, there's a lot of, of, you know, it's not true for everyone, but there are a number of Muslims who, you know, if they are, if this, if, if it's someone that they are, like, meeting for the first time, if it's someone that they're, you know, that, like, it's basically, it's, it's saying, I, I want, to, you know, if, if you're doing it to someone you're meeting, it's like saying, I want to have a good relationship with you, you know, kind of, you know, and, and, you know, there's a lot of us here in the West, we think of, you know, well, if you meet someone for the first time, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, shake, shake their hand or, you know, smile at them or something, eye contact, but, but yeah, for, for a number of Muslims, it's considered, you know, for, he would think that he, he would feel like he's being rude. If he didn't, you know, he's he's trying to, you know, and she, as as a young black woman, there's a lot of, you know, black women. They have a very particular, you know, I I um I think it was uh, Andre the Black Nerd uh, here on YouTube who pointed out, never touch a black woman if you're not 100% certain that she's okay with it. You know, he he was talking about um. Falcon the Winter Soldier, you know, he, may, he makes great content, by the way, uh, but, so, so, yeah, you know, and, and it's, it's one of those things where, you know, there's a lot of black people that are really put upon, and, yeah, you know, um, physical touch is one of those things where, you know, it's, it's a great thing to, to be, you know, you, to, yeah, to know your, to have boundaries, basically, and you know, it's it's like she, because of the situation, she can't, you know, she's she's new, and and you know, if, if anything, it should probably be Manny, who you know, Manny and Chester are roommates. She doesn't want to cause conflict in the kitchen, you know. It Manny should be the one to say, to, don't don't, you know, she does, she's not, she doesn't want you to hug her, you know, at, at the very least, not right now you know, kind of thing, but, but yeah, I, I felt like the, you know, the episode did a good job, you know, yeah, communicating that, and, yeah, the, the, yeah, that is, that is everything that I had to say about that, and about this episode, so, yeah, um, I believe one of the next ones, uh, hold on, let's see if I can, Find real quick. Um, the the seventh. So I guess the next episode. Um, yeah. Is actually a you know it's not let's see it is presented as a single take it's not quite you know but but yeah. Um, Really looking forward to to seeing that. It's uh, like I don't think I've seen a single negative comment about that. When a lot of people are saying, you know, that was like mind blow, just amazing. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. And yeah, uh, next week I will finish off the. Uh, you know, I I don't know exactly what day of the week, but sometime next week I'll talk about the last two episodes of season one. And yeah, we get for that. Season two should hit. Disney Plus, so I'll be able to dive right into that one. I have not yet completely made up my mind exactly about how, you know, if, if I understand correctly, basically every, all, all eight episodes of season two are going to drop at the same time, uh, you know, so, yeah, I, I don't know yet exactly how much time I'm going to put between each video I do on it, but, yeah. That's it for this one, and it is also it for this week. So yeah, um, the yeah, 
Next week, I'm going to keep up the daily episode of X-Men. I am going to finish off... Uh, season. Right, I'm going to do a video on Season 2 of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Finish off Secret Invasion, both do thoughts on the final episode and the review without spoilers. Gonna do uh, an episode of Scream Queens and, yeah, two episodes of this show. So, yeah, uh, hope to catch you and in one of those. And, yes, Chef.